Today I am carving a raven. I've got a video that's been posted about it, but this one I'm gonna switch it up. You know, even though you kind of keep all these random logs back here, when the right project comes up, they're perfect for them. So this log's already been paid for, for so for me, I've been sitting on it, letting it dry, waiting for the right time, and uh, now it's time. So when I'm looking at the Raven, I look for perfect profile pictures just like this. Now I take a projector, I project it onto the log, and then I trace it out, and that is a profile block out. And you can do this many different ways. You can use it on paper, you can do it in just from the image. It just depends on where you are. If it's in the middle of the day, your best to get somewhere dark and then do it on a piece of paper and spray paint it on after you apply it onto the log. Now, when you're doing these types of blockouts, you want to cut straight, stay true to the line. And I'm talking like, if it's a perfect proportion, then stay true to the line. Because if you veer off and you try to stay safe, literally you're, you run into the chance later of messing out your blockout. Then you can also do things in in different depths. Now I mean that by saying like the furthest point from from you and the closest point to you. So the you know like the shoulder or the wing that's going to be the closest point to me. So maybe I'll put that number one. The neck number two. The beak number three. And then the far left leg will be number four. So you got to think about how you're going to block it from the point of just blocking out, but try to cut straight and it takes practice it's not easy it takes some time to learn it takes some time to get confident in it but once you get confident in it it will improve your block outs so much and help everybody because really if you got a good design proportions don't lie so that's kind of the punch out of a raven really close to the lines when you got a true to form absolutely true to form block out try to get it as close as you can because you've already got the profile you already have the proportions really it's just a matter of getting it close and doing your best so when you cut in you know you'll see a couple times if you watch it back i did it slow i did a couple cuts a little bit on the first time a little bit on the second time and then i punched through so when you're punching through and doing that style of block out, then you've got the shape. Now it's about getting the back part. So now I'm gonna flip it around and I'm gonna start on the head because I know the head's gonna be twisted. So right away, I just go boom, boom. And then I'll punch the wing in, get the wings, neck first, head turn, and then uh, Keep going. So in thinking about your block out, I now can start to layer in the wings and, and really start to define all the appendages, your legs, your wings, your head, your neck, your chest, kind of creating separation lines that are going to really stand out. Now, ravens have super skinny legs, but for me, like working the legs, is crucial and such a pivotal part so when i'm starting to really shape in these things you also have to think about points of contact now when you're blocking out the tail feathers are going to be connected to the base that is a huge huge part of the strength of your piece when you're pushing for thinner legs you got to think about like a very strong point of contact and i always think of three points of contact because that's what bob king said three points of contact go back and watch talks with the masters with bob he talks about that now laying in feathers i've already got my depths if you look closely i'm using the tip of the bar and i'm trying to like create not dramatic depths but i'm really going to layer the feathers in properly because ravens have really cool feather patterns and you know I really love doing feathers. I can't even stress it enough. When you guys are like carving, you gotta think about what your move is, where you wanna go with it, how you want your carvings to look. Do you care about feather patterns? 
I mean, for myself, I'm constantly looking at it. And that all boils down back to the block out. Now, if you're looking at how it's layered and staggered now, I'm really able to go, okay, this wing is here. There's a small depth here. There's a small depth there. And you can create separation and textures and also, you know, really work on improving the actual feather patterns. And, and Ravens really do have the coolest ones. So I'm hoping this is kind of resonating with you guys. Now, getting back to three points of contact, as you get further along, think about the strength of the legs because really a lot of the weight is going to be on the tail feathers because you got to really keep that connected. You can look right there. The rest of the piece is just a matter of kind of looking at the wood and also make sure there's no cracks in the leg area because if, you, if you go really thin, they're going to crack. But we're here to push it. So push your carving to the next level. So it's coming together really good today. I'm feeling it. It's uh, the, the feathers are looking good. I'm going to get them sanded up here, balance out everything, and then give it one last polish and then finish it off. The more you do with them, the faster you get. So you really just have to kind of like look at pictures, look at references and just trust your profile. Like I could not have done this that quickly had I not used a good profile view, a good template. The piece has a, a lot of punch and power. You see, if you really work at this, you can kind of speed things up and, and still produce great quality work. Okay guys, let's finish it off. So really think about blocking. When you're going for a perfect profile block out, it's just like ice carving. Stay true to your design. I can't stress that enough. And you can create awesome carvings. I'm not saying mine are awesome, but I'm saying work my butt off and I've practiced a lot. And So that's it, done and done. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this, give it a like, subscribe below. Thank you, my name is Ryan Cook, and I will see you next time. Boom, y'all.